Hello everyone and welcome to this Illustrator tutorial for beginners. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this atomic symbol using only two tools in Adobe Illustrator, the rotate and the ellipse tool. So let's get started. We're going to begin with an artboard that's 1920 by 1080 pixels. And for this tutorial, we're only going to use two tools, the ellipse and the rotate tool. So we're going to use the ellipse tool to create our circle by pressing L, which is the tool right here. And we're going to click right here and we're gonna make an ellipse that is about 150 points by 450 points and press OK. You should get a shape that looks like this. It looks pretty good, I'm just gonna move it to the center there. And we wanna make sure that the shape right here, it has a stroke of about mm, eight points. So we change the stroke right there. And you want the fill, this thing right here, to be none, it should be the bar. So what you can do is you can just select it right here by clicking on it and then hitting none. Okay, now select your object. And right now this is a stroke and an empty fill. We wanna change this stroke to an actual object right here, this black, okay? To do that, we go to object, expand, and then we can just uncheck this box and expand the stroke. This will make the stroke expanded into an object and press okay. What that does is now it allows us to give a stroke to this object. So for instance, if I click this stroke button right here, I double click on it and I go to something like a red, you see that now this object here has a stroke. So that's why we expand it. Okay, now with this object selected, we're gonna use our other tool. We're gonna use the rotate tool and we'll double click it right here. So we just double click right there. And I want you to rotate it by 60 degrees. So just type in 60 right here in this box and you can click preview to see where it is and then press copy. This makes a copy of it, okay? Then do the same thing, select this right here and press the rotate, rotate tool twice, double click. And now change the angle to minus 60 because we want to go the other way. And you can click preview and you see it goes the other direction and press copy. Good, so that's our base figure. Now we're just gonna create our atoms. It's pretty simple. We'll press L, which is our ellipse tool. Click in the middle right here and make an ellipse here that's 35 by 35. Press OK. It's gonna be black like that. We can center it by moving it right there. And now we're gonna make another circle right here. We're gonna click on it and we're gonna make it uh, 25 by 25, a bit smaller than the second center one. Press OK. So it's a bit smaller there. Now to duplicate this object, we click on it and hold Alt and Shift. So I'm clicking, I'm still holding down Alt and Shift. And now if I click on this and hold Alt and Shift, that duplicates the object like that. Okay, until we have three. Then I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna put it right about there. I'm gonna select this object. I'm gonna put it somewhere around around here. And this one I'm gonna move to over here and I'm gonna kind of center it because it's a bit off center. Okay, now we're gonna select all of our objects right here and we're gonna give them a stroke by double clicking the stroke button right here and moving this until we get to a white color and press okay. And it's just gonna be a stroke of about one point, but this makes these little objects kind of pop from one another. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select this object right here I'm gonna click on the fill right over here, double click on it, and I'm gonna make it a kind of like a dark grayish like that. And then I'm gonna do the same with over here. I'm gonna click on this object right here, double click on the fill, and I'm gonna make that even, even lighter gray like that. And I realized I put these things on the same line. So if you wanna have a better effect, make sure they're on different lines. So this is on this one, this is on this one, this one's on that one. And that's all there is to it. Great job. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions, write them in the comments below. Hit the like button, subscribe, check out our other videos. And of course, as always, have a great day.